I'm going to start with you, Kevin Hench. Do you want to go one by one through these teams, or do you want to float out who you think the team is that's going to jump the most games? And like I say, to me, by my estimation, that's going to be as many as four or even five wins for who I've circled here, or who might have the biggest drop-off here. So my two teams for the biggest upwardly mobile jump are the Chargers and the Patriots. I think the Patriots, the defense was really good, and they didn't have Judon and Gonzalez. Like, Gonzalez might be an all-pro, and Judon's borderline pro bowler, and that defense is going to be good. And if your defense is good, you're in games. And so, obviously, total wild card at quarterback, but if it's Jacoby Brissett, like, they're going to be okay. You know, if, if they're going to win some games with 17 points. And then the Chargers, I think, you know, what we've been saying for years, those of us who have been wrong about the Chargers, um, they needed a culture change. So obviously they they got it in a guy who just flips the switch everywhere he goes. There's a huge culture change. And uh, that, that team could very quickly go to where they should be. The division I'm real skeptical of is the AFC North. Deshaun Watson is still the Browns QB. Well, that's my big drop off. That's my big drop off. You know, when you're looking for high win totals, um, kudos winning 11 games after after Nick Chubb got cheap shotted by your guy. Um, oh, shot up. I don't think that defense can mask that quarterback play to the tune of a double digit wins again. So I think of those four teams, they have the highest win total of a team that's really going to drop off. The team, I'll just float mine out here that I think has a big bounce in the NFC is the Arizona Cardinals. Four wins a year ago. Tyler Murray looked better than I expected him to when he came back from injury. I think they're worse. They're through the worst of that, um, you know, all the Kyler melodrama of the playbook and everything else, new regime, and they're on, and they're, they've come through clean on the other side. They've added some nice pieces around, but specific to Kyler, he has more weapons now. I like that Cardinals team. I think the Rams are going to be real good, though. Um, and obviously the Niners aren't going anywhere, but I do still think that the Cardinals have a, a, a chance to get to eight wins, nine wins in that conference this year. So that's the team I see as the biggest bounce there. But I'm uh, parking my cars, my car in the same garage with you on your Patriots. I don't, again, I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender, but I think people are going to be talking about them like, ooh, look at this. My one fallback candidate that I believe in more than any other, and people accuse me of this being because of my fandom, I think the Ravens have a real chance of falling back to nine and eight. If the Bungles are good this year, if they rise back up as a force, you know, 13 wins is, uh, you know, that's a heavy win total. I think there's a chance that things break against them and, and they fall all the way back to single digit wins. I've been bullish and the Jets. I'm not going to back off. And again, this comes down to quarterback play. You say what you want about Rodgers. I think just having Brees Hall behind you, who is my pick for the, the best running back uh, next upcoming season. I just think the Jets from seven wins with Zach Wilson and co being under 500 at home, having no home field advantage after losing Rodgers the fashion they did with first four plays of the Jets season. I think, you know, a lot of people like to poo poo them because they just dislike Rodgers. I'm talking about actual football here. I'm talking about X's and O's. I think this roster should be really good.